cleaning your machine is very simple. For safety's sake, be sure to turn off your power and unplug your machine. I like to remove the foot to get it out of my way. And I also like to remove the needle, although that's not always necessary. Unscrew your plate. I like to unscrew my plate before I take any of the parts off because I have dropped these little screws down into the machine before. So let's get these out of the way. Okay, let's go ahead and disassemble. We need to remove the bobbin case. And we're gonna pull out the bobbin. And I'm going to remove the trap. And this part is a little fiddly sometimes but it does come off. Okay, take a look at all of that dust down inside here. All of that stuff is what's gonna gum up the whole works. Okay, I'm gonna remove the race. I'm gonna clean it off. These brushes sometimes come with your sewing machine and you can get down in there real good. See all of that dirt coming out of there? Okay, now I'm gonna get down in here and show you why it's important to keep your machine clean. All of this can get bound up in the workings of your machine and cause lots of problems. It will also dramatically shorten the life of your machine so every so often, pretty frequently, you do want to take your machine apart and clean it. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna clean it a little bit more. See how much more we can get out of this. And it's good to clean the feed dogs while you're at it. If you don't have one of these brushes, a chenille stem works great. I like to use a chenille stem to get the little final touches of dust off the machine. Get it down in there real good. And because you're down in the inner workings of this machine, it's important to have your power supply turned off because you never know. All right, get it in there good and clean. Look at that. All of that could have caused problems for the machine. Some machines require a drop of oil down in the bobbin case. This particular machine is a brother and it does not. Our Singer sewing machine does. When you put the bobbin case back in, see the little dot? It just lines up with the other dot right here. So we wanna see that that's moving freely and it's seated well. Now let's put the metal plate back on. And we're going to seat it up just like that. And again, I don't put the screws in until this is all covered up so I don't have to go on a fishing trip to find my screws. Now, okay, we'll close that back up. Now we'll put the screws back in. Cleaning your machine should be done at least every eight hours of operation or more often when working with softer fabrics that shed, like fleece or flannel. For specific cleaning instructions, be sure to refer to your machine's user manual.